Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to display a nice cookie model on your website. If you're using AdSense to display ads on your page, you need to get consent from your user to use third-party cookies uh, if you want to comply with the general data protection regulation. And um, how I build this model is I'm just using the bootstrap model um, component. So pretty straightforward and once you give your consent only then the ad script uh, sorry the AdSense script is loaded and I'm going to see an ad on my page. So this is going this is what it's going to look like. Let's do this one more time. I'm clearing my cache and then we can see that once I click OK only then all the ads and scripts are loaded. Okay, so just as a disclaimer, please don't take any legal advice from me. I'm just someone who's building a website and implementing some tech. So uh, anyway, let's get started. So first thing that I did on my website was I included the AdSense script here. However, what we want to do now is we want to customize this a little bit so that the script only gets loaded once you click OK on your model. So, first thing we're going to do is add the model to the website. So, I am going to copy this code that I prepared here in the in my blog post that I'm going to post the link off in the video and I'm going to add this quite low near the end of my HTML here okay. don't need to worry about the formatting too much for now so that is the consent that is the HTML for the um, model essentially like I said I'm using bootstrap version 4 and this is using the modal component here um, important that you set the role as dialog and you need to set data backdrop to static because otherwise if you click anywhere around the modal, the modal is going to close but what we want is for the modal to only close once the user gives their OK and, and actually gives their consent so having said that let's move on to the JavaScript which I have prepared here as well uh, we're going to run through this a bit slow, a bit more slow so here I have my JavaScript file that's being loaded into my page already and I'm just gonna paste this for now. Okay, so what do we have here? I have two methods that set a cookie and get a cookie. I just got them from the Stack Overflow question. Uh, so I did not I did not code them myself, I just copied them. Then I have a jQuery function uh, so I'm using the jQuery ready method that is executed once the document is loaded and now what I'm doing is I, I'm i checking if there's a specific cookie set which I have named consent given and then a random number because just to make it unique within the website because there's already other cookies that have consent in their name so if the cookie is not set, which is whenever someone visits the, the site for the first time, then I want to show my model. Okay, so let's just save this and go to my locally running version. I should first clear the cache. This is how you clear the cache. Open your Dev tools, application, clear storage, clear site data, and then reload. And now we can see that the modal is loading here. 
because it sees that the cookie is not there yet. Now, if there's no cookie, the model is being shown. That's the one thing. And then what I'm doing here is I am assigning an event listener on click of the give cookie consent button I want to execute a method. Now what's the get consent button? That is just the button that sits in the middle of my message, so this one. <clears throat> so if I click on the button then I have this method here and this will now set my cookie to true because uh, the user has clicked OK and that means they have given their consent and that means next time they visit the website we don't want to bother them anymore with the same message so next time that the user comes back this will evaluate to false so the uh, cookie is already there and then What's happening is I'm going straight into my method again, which then does all the rest, which is actually loading the Google AdSense script. So essentially what I did here is if I go back to my HTML, this is what AdSense tells you to add on all of your pages, but I am going to delete, delete this here because we are adding a script tag here programmatically only when the user has given their consent and that script tag is going to load this script and also this little setup script here is executed only once the user has given their consent okay so let us just um, examine this a little bit closer. So if I go into my head of the HTML, we can see that there is now there's already the script for um, the Google AdSense and that's because it was until now still part of my HTML by default so I'm just gonna reload one more time and then it should not be there yes now it looks much cleaner as soon as I click OK now the script here is appended and then all of the ad scripts are loaded Cool. Um, that that is almost it. So I'm going to clear my storage one more time, and we're going to look at the cookies now. Um, so, oops, cookies. Here we go. Localhost. So as you can see here, I am there's some cookies from Google Analytics. I am actually loading my Google Analytics script through Google Tag Manager before the consent is given, which is kind of in the gray zone. Um, I what what I am doing with Google Analytics is I have anonymized my IP addresses and I'm I have the advertising features uh, deactivated in Google Analytics, which kind of makes it not save any personally identifiable information however it still sets cookies so if I want to be completely on the on the right side I would also only set the Google Analytics cookie once the user has given their consent but I want to actually know if someone visits my website every time they visit which is why I'm still setting the analytics cookie right away but in order to be completely clean I should definitely actually not do that but uh, anyway let's move on so once I click OK here now we can see that my cookie is set here 
uh, that says okay now the cookie the consent is true so if I now reload my script says okay there's already this uh, cookie here and it's not going to show the model again and also you can see that Google Ads has set the cookie here now because this is a local environment the AdSense uh, ads don't actually load so if we are inspecting this here it looks actually the same <laughs> I thought there would be more more cookie data here but it's actually the same oh no there we go okay yeah so here we go depending on the kind of ad that's being loaded uh, there's additional cookies here which is why we really want to get the user's consent before all those third-party cookies are loaded alright so just to sum up what I just did is I took my AdSense script and I deleted it from the HTML of my page and I'm only loading it programmatically once the user clicks on on the OK button in the cookie modal and only then we load the AdSense scripts and then my ad which is on the page will actually show an ad and for the cookie consent modal I've used the bootstrap modal component if I want to be completely clean I should also be adding a privacy policy that should be displayed in my cookie modal but I have not spent the time yet to do that because the number of users of, on my site is, is pretty low so but I shall add this at a future date okay cool so I hope this has helped you I'll see you in the next video